Hi Leo, welcome back to Born Without Boundaries or welcome if you're just arriving. My name is Michelle and this is my channel, Born Without Boundaries. Leo, this is your weekly tarot and oracle card reading for general energies from October 2nd through the 9th. 2019. All right, Leo, we're going to get into it just after a few bits of inventory. If you are on a platform that allows for commercials, expect there to be a commercial break in the next couple of seconds. Understand that I appreciate your patience and the watching watching the commercials or whatever you do during the commercial breaks man go take a pee i don't know you know but i appreciate you understanding that the commercial is there after that there will be no other commercials throughout this video so thank you for your patience and i will be right back now for those of you who didn't have to wait woo -woo, for those of you who've just come back once again thank you for your patience it really does help to support the channel bottom line. So I, I appreciate that. It's almost like you made a contribution just by being patient. So uh, thank you. Please do click subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I go live and upload all kinds of fantastic content for you guys. These kind of videos will come weekly. Like I said, this is the weekly tarot and oracle card reading. Tarot card reading for this reading, we start with oracle cards over on YouTube and then we go to, into tarot, into a deep tarot read as well as an expanded romance read over on Vimeo. That link is below, FYI. Okay, we've talked enough shop. We've talked in the game. Let's get to the shuffling. Leo, October 2nd through the 9th, 2019. Leo, October 2nd through the 9th, 2019. Leo, okay. Loyalties, there could be loyalty in question though since it fell on the floor and it's a little bit wonky. Loyalty in question. Now, I know loyalty above anything and above all is something that's extremely important to your heart, you know, to the way that you see yourselves, maybe not. But this is this, the way that it came out, the way that it fell to the floor tells me that there's somebody's loyalty is in question this week. Hmm. Hmm. Be loyal to what you love. Leo, I hope this isn't you. I hope it's not your loyalty that's in question. Let's see. It may be that you are having a hard time or difficulty staying loyal to somebody. Hmm. Believe in yourself. Okay. So, yes. Hmm. This is the energy of self-confidence. This is the energy of hard work, of working hard on yourself. Essentially, these two cards coming out together is saying that, yes, somebody's loyalty is in question. Something that you had worked on for quite some time and, and built uh, what you thought was a reliable relationship with. This is also the Virgo card. So maybe you're engaged or um, in a relationship with or doing work with a Virgo. Bottom line is something that you've been working on, you're now feeling a little bit of backstabbing vibrations. You're not feeling the love. You're feeling like something has just not there. No, yeah. Mm. Loyalty is in question. Loyalty is in question. Ooh, I'm trying to get some more information on this for you. Oh, we are definitely going to need the details. What is up for Leo? This is a person or a situation that you, you feel, Leo, you have dedicated and devoted a whole bunch of your time, energy, and effort to, and that you have shown a great amount of loyalty to. But they, they are sort of more invested or you're seeing that this other energy is more invested in working it on itself or working for its own profit or its own gain. It, you could be dealing with a mutable sign. This is definitely mutable energy, energy that is more, and it could very well be, Leo, that it's not, it's not, especially if it's a specific person, it's not necessarily that they're being malif um, um, malicious. 
it's that they don't think of things in a fixed way. And that's why I say you're dealing with a mutable energy. You're dealing with something that wants to keep flowing, wants to keep continuing, wants to keep moving on. And it's not an energy that, that stays and, and decides that this is how tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow is going to be as well. They just live for the day. And I think that that could be perceived, perceived disloyalty to you because this card came out on its side, it didn't come out in reverse or upside down. So this isn't blatant backstabbing. This is just having sort of a skewed perspective on what it is to be loyal. It could speak to this energy, feeling like it's going too fast, flowing too fast, sort of overtaking you or not really acknowledging you the way that you feel that you should be acknowledged. Um, something that is engaged and involved in its own self-worth. And if you are a part of that or a part of a process that it's involved with, well, then you're valuable. But it can forget about you as easily as it can think about you. And that tells me it's a mutable energy. Now, mutable signs are Pisces, Virgo, and Gemini. And so, like I said, this is not a malicious person. It just seems like this is a project, maybe a job, something that you're engaged with, Leo, that you feel you put your whole self into, that you feel you busted your ass and you worked hard for, and you contributed everything, all parts of yourself, and you feel very impressed with your contributions to it, but you don't see the same sort of um, you don't see the same sort of loyalty coming out of it. And like I said, because it was a skewed card and not a totally reversed card, what that tells me is it could just very well be you're dealing with, with mutable energy. If it's not a specific person with a specific sign, it's definitely this feeling of just living in the moment and being in the moment and working for the productivity of the moment. And that to me doesn't really, it's almost like, yes, no, I mean, believe in yourself. You invested a lot into this circumstance. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You invested a lot into the circumstance. As far as you go, this card means that you have been building and contributing and saving. And yes, you did in fact, uh, you were making these sacrifices for these things to go long term. And that doesn't necessarily mean that this person would feel the same way or this situation. It's almost like it's rolling with self-confidence and investment in what it is and in the future of what it wants to do. In other words, if this was a person, this would be somebody who's more invested in their work or their projects than they are in their relationship with you. Now, this could be somebody that is that it, that that you've known for quite some time, but I almost feel like this was a newer person in your life that you had a lot of hope for, and now it's or a new situation in your life, an opportunity. It could very well be Leo, an opportunity that you're putting a lot of yourself into, but you're you're not seeing that people agree with how how. Um, how how important your contribution has been watch and wait yeah there's a lot of impatience here and this is piscean energy as well Leo. You know, i don't know if you're dealing with a pisces but this is piscean energy which is has something to do with um um illusion uh dreams it could be showmanship it could be it could be uh, movies or storytelling definitely something that has to do with um um illusion and maybe that's what you just feel like somebody deceived you like somebody pulled the wool over your eyes and there has been this compromise of um, the dignity of your relationship. This is a card where your patience has grown thin. It could very well be telling me that whatever whatever you've invested in, Leo, it's almost like there's this impulsivity to you this week. Either you haven't you 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 don't want to spend any more time on this, or you don't want to spend maybe as much time as you should on this project. Um, but should is you know it's a that's a that's subjective, right? So you don't want to put any more into this project. You don't you don't think you owe anybody anymore and you're sort of at the last straw. Leo, you're kind of like I shouldn't have to invest anymore. You know, I I'm I'm tired of waiting for the results, the feedback, the um payoff. 
Um, and that might be exactly what's, what's, what's making you feel like there is disloyalty around you. I don't necessarily think there is disloyalty around you. I think there is people around you that are engaged in work that is very much that takes a lot of improvisation going with the flow that takes a mindset that is more malleable and it, it and to have expectations in that situation is is going to always lead to disappointments leo so it could very well be just perceived disappointments and not actual actual disappointments that is definitely something that 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 we would have to go in but i'm gonna get i'm gonna draw more cards that is definitely something to go deeper into tarot with. Um, but I'm still going deeper now with the Oracle cards. So, ooh, Leo, week of October 2nd through the 9th. You could be engaged, you could be involved in a relationship with a Virgo or a Pisces, and you're just tired of waiting. You're, you're tired of waiting for them to make up your mind, their mind about you. You're tired of waiting for a commitment. In which case, this person hasn't necessarily... Now, there could have been behavior in the past week, in the past week, that had given you pause to um, basically throw into question their loyalty to you. Now, that doesn't mean the behavior... Like I said, a lot of what I'm feeling is that your impatience is sort of skewing your judgment in a way and that's i know that's not something that you want to hear but it it is something that you may that may help you in to hear it because that means that you're not not being loved and you're not not being appreciated it's just not all about you right now and that could be hard for you and very difficult to digest and because of that, you're perceiving it as disloyalty. It's not disloyalty. It's just that other people have stuff going on that is important to them and stands outside of you. You may just want more attention for yourself. So trust in the magic. There you go. Trust in the magic. And it's a time for a deep dive. So you are dealing with somebody that you are in a new relationship with. Or maybe that's somebody that is much younger than you which is why there's this impulsivity or this sort of, um, you know, hard, hard for them to even commit. It's not that they're not into you, but they're not at a situation, almost like they're not as mature as you are. So they don't, they're not ready for that step of settling down. If you are dealing with somebody that even if, even if they're just young in spirit, and that could very well be somebody that's young in spirit or an opportunity that's young in spirit, but you know what? Okay. That's very much getting into relationships. And we will dive into that deep, definitely. Especially on Vimeo, we're going to dive in deep. But Leo, this is the more mature version of what this is. This is also a six and this is all two sixes. Six is the lovers. It's the lovers in the tarot deck. So when I see that, I think of love and relationships, connectivity, reaching out, feeling amorous, feeling beautiful, feeling loved, feeling attractive. And it's almost like maybe you've gone through a long period of time in your life where you worked very, very hard on yourself. You take a lot of pride in the work that you've done and you want to be recognized for it because honestly at this point you're at your peak you're at your or what you think is your peak you're at a place in your life that you feel really strong about your gifts and your abilities and your contributions maybe to a specific relationship the issue with the other person is they're not there yet they haven't caught up to you and so if you feel underappreciated this week leo it's less having to do with their judgment on you and more having to do with their focus and attention on something else which is still getting to you and it's still bothering you and so there's a call this week if you're dealing with a person and 14 14 oh my god i just saw that so this could be about divine counterparts but the way that's on the table leo it seems like this is divine counterparts from a past life this is almost like a past life cycle of somebody that you've known for a long time coming back and constantly affecting you or somebody that you've known for a long time in your life that um, that in other words, it's almost like you either grew up together or they just won't grow up. Um, 
and this is where your frustration is feeling. You're, you're, this is why you're feeling frustrated because it's like, when is this going to happen? That's the feeling right now of, I was supposed to be recognized and looked at. I know that I'm valuable. I know that I'm worth it, but why isn't everybody else on the page with me? I don't necessarily think that they aren't. I just think, and here's another mutable energy is Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they are probably going through, they are, they are not going through such great times right now. I'm telling you that right now. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, it could very well be that there's other harder issues, issues that have made them feel completely emotionally flip-flopped in their life right now. And so their focus is not necessarily, they're not trying to not pay attention to you, but what is happening is that there's so much heaviness in their life that they're not used to dealing with, that they're paying attention to that right now. I do feel Virgo, Pisces. I'm going to flip the phone around. So I'm going to flip the um, camera around so you can see. Virgo, Pisces, Sagittarius. What I tell you, you're dealing with a very mutable energy. A mutable energy means it usually lives in the now. It lives in the here and now. And that's frustrating for you because you always look for stability. Listen, this card is coming out to tell you it, what you have put in, the work that you've put in, it's not wasted. See, look at this. It's almost like three divine aspects of life, if you know anything about the Wiccan culture. Um, and I know I'm not Wiccan, but it's almost like, um, um, what is it? The crone, the maiden, and the mother. Sort of like you're, when, you're, when you're young, and you're fresh, and you're open, and you're new, but that's not where you are right now. Where you are is more fixed energy. It's more that mature period in your life where you're ready for what we would call grown up shit, right? And then you have the crone and you have this reminder of when you look back, you'll always find things to be able to see that you can, that will, will give you, you'll always be able to find abundance because the crone sits in a perspective of experience. But I don't think that you've gotten there yet. But what this, this card is showing up to tell you is um, have wisdom. Understand that it is not wasted. When you look back on this moment, you'll know that it's not wasted. From an um, a aerial perspective, you'll understand a little bit better about what's happening and what's going on. So what that tells me is, Leo, you are not experiencing disloyalty. You are experiencing um, distraction, distracted attention, attention not being focused on you. Underlying that, Leo, what it's saying to me is that, well, why do you, wait, not why do you need, it's almost like you need that attention for some reason, so what's really bothering you? And, and, and we need to get to the heart of that matter. It, we need to get to the heart of why is it bothering you to not be paid attention to? And no, they're a Leo, it, it's, it's not. I think, to be honest with you, I think you're dealing with something that really strikes at your heartstrings. I think you're dealing with something that you wanted to actually work on and help and contribute to. It was very, very important to you. So the reason why this meant so much for you, the reason why it bothers you that you're not getting that attention back is because what this is meant so much to you. Like, uh, like, like almost like it affects your family. It affects your home. It affects who you almost identify yourself as. Hold on one second. I want to, I want to show you the cards as I'm discussing this. Okay, Leo. So you can see all the cards on the table. This this strikes at the very core of everything that you are. Okay, that's why it's important to you. This is the true love card. This is my true love. In other words, that connection that goes so deep, 
that it's, it's, it's something you almost identify yourself as. This is also the swan card, which is, which tells me that you went through a period, a long period of time where nobody paid attention to you or nobody saw you for what you were worth. And you worked very, very hard. In other words, growing, you grew into somebody that you are proud of, which is awesome. But you, there is a concern this week about loyalty. This is how the card came out. It's not disloyalty, but it's, it's, it's almost, it's not clear loyalty, but look who you're dealing with. And these are the cards that came out, all of them. And I'm like, it, you can't get any more blatant than that, except I don't think there's a Gemini card that's arrived, but you could also consider this a Gemini card too, because it's the air sign. You have the immutable earth, you have immutable water, you have immutable fire, and then you have immutable air. So you're definitely dealing with immutable energy. That tells me the advice from the angels this week is please, Leo, please, please, please go with the flow because this is the sign. This is your sign that you need to hear. It is not wasted. Whatever you feel, those frustrations, that feeling of, 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 not, of lack of fulfillment, it's not wasted. You did not waste your time. You did not waste your energy. There is still something to, to be had here. There is still a hidden gem here. And essentially, the reason why you're feeling the way that you're feeling is because it matters so much to you. It's not because they're actually really being disloyal. They're not. They're focused on something that matters to them. And there's an impatience. There's a, a sense of you don't want to wait anymore. You're pissed off. Like I said, if this does have to deal with relationships, it's telling me that you're sick of waiting for people to make up their freaking mind or you're sick of waiting like you have been ready to commit for quite some time and you're tired of somebody just hemming and hawing and not showing up and, and, and not investing in you the way that you feel you're investing in them. I'm going to go over onto Vimeo to do, dive deeper into not only the circumstance, but sort of the outcome of why this card came out so, so wonky. That's what I, yeah, so wonky. And um, try to forecast essentially what this person is, is thinking if you're dealing with a person, because we're going to go into a romance reading too. So I will see you over there.